Hello everyone, Kyle here. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on the Pack a Punch machine. So, yeah, it's been quite an advanced tutorial. Uh, you'll need some quite good MC Edit skills so you understand what I'm saying. Um, I'll try to explain it as well as I can. I'm not brilliant at tutorials as like my previous tutorials have had a lot of questions on, which I thought I answered in the video, but it turns out I didn't. But uh, from now on, I'm going to post a world save or schematic and most of the commands used in the description which uh, should be there hopefully unless I've forgotten so firstly before you start you need to create a variable called points and just copy this command it's case sensitive what it does is create a variable called points and it's total kill count which means that uh, you'll get a point every time you kill a player or a mob and next you want to set a display to the sidebar which mine already is as you can see I've got 79 points and uh, that's pretty easy and then you want to just like give yourself some points this gives every single player who's on the world uh, 100 points so now you want to copy this design it uses spruce wood slabs spruce wood stairs and yep it's quite easy here I've just got a uh, half a block gap which then this has the uh, sign for the pack a punch. So here you just want to put some blocks. I recommend putting some non flammable blocks on. Oh yeah, you want the game rule, uh I think it's do fire tick false. It's the uh game rule which stops fire spread. Do you want you want that um so there's no fire spread. So what I'm gonna do is put a button on the right side and then put a block here. So repeat uh redstone redstone like so in this pattern put two repeaters here and then put with a two oh no so yeah just two repeaters here and both of these you're going to put, build four blocks up and this is going to represent the power so what you want on so you move the bottom three blocks put sticky pistons underneath any block underneath the piston and this will represent the power so like that redstone torch and redstone so you can connect a lever here or like some redstone do uh, dust from like the power switch if you're making a mini game and this basically just alternates the current so one's going to be on and one's going to be off all the time so at the moment the power's going to be on so you want a command block uh, let's give myself command block so it will say and this will tell in a oh no you want tell yeah so first of all you want uh, actually the coordinates of this block here which is uh, 0, 056 0 so you want it to have this tell at nearest player uh, 0, 056 0 which are the coordinates and then you want to put 1 which is the radius and then you want to put colon oh no that's it you want to tell them that needs a source of power and if I've done this right it should come out of this display message nope not working right Oh yeah, it's not working because I'm not actually standing in the radius. I'm an idiot. Right, so it would work if I'm standing in the radius of the block, obviously. Uh, yeah. Right, so the power is on at the moment. So this is the output of that block. Then you want to block here. Dust. Repeater, repeater. And you want to do the same thing as before. Build four blocks up on each. Put sticky pistons below. And then any block below that. And here, under this one, the right side, you want tell and nearest player 0, 056, 0, which is the coordinates and the radius of 1. And then you want to tell them pack a punch calling down. And uh, you want to remove the uh, columns from that. So that will tell you the pack punch is calling down, if it is, of course. So here you want diagonal from the left repeat uh, piston 
redstone torch, and then redstone. And redstone here. Then the command block. Now once it's the uh, button, uh, redstone current has gone through all of these, the error checking like um, pistons before, it will now attempt to buy the pack punch. So you want test for that nearest player 0, 056, 0, 1, and then score, points, min, and then equals the cost, which is going to be 50. And that's it for that. So you want a torch, block, torch, you want com comparator coming out these two sides, you want a block, then a torch, this inverts the current from that repeat, uh, comparator, and then two repeaters. And one of these is going to represent you can afford it, and the other will re represent you can't. So build four blocks up on each side, remove the bottom three, and again, place repeaters facing down under them. Then just copy what I do here. So you want that on one tick delay and this on two tick delay, which means just right clicking it once. So this side represents you won't be able to buy it, so you want uh say at nearest player zero at the coordinates which is zero fifty six zero and then the radius of one, then score points equals forty nine. Uh, you don't want a min in there. This mean this means a maximum, but for maximum you don't have to have, don't have to put min or maximum. It automatically uh, does it if you uh, understand. So then you put colon and then put your message, which means you can't afford it. Like I need more points. Obviously you can come up with something more creative than that. All right. Um, if you can afford it, which is this side, you want it to remove the points. So scoreboard players remove at nearest player. 0, 056, 0, which is the coordinates, then radius, then score, points, min, then the cost, 50, and then points, 50, which is going to remove 50 points. So now you want uh, rest and dust, block, repeater, oh no, torch, repeater, this is going to be an arsenal latch, and so one wide arsenal latch and then that, so that's the arsenal latch now you want torch here repeat here and repeat here you want to get a hopper like so, and this is going to be a timing mechanism so what we're going to do is make both the hoppers face into each other by doing this you just place one of the hoppers down you hold shift, right click on the right side to make this hopper face into this hopper and then you delete this one and do the same and they'll both go into each other so now you want to put some items in I recommend putting about 32 items of the same thing that's the timing like 32 ticks I believe that is so now you can change that to whatever you want as well also you want comparators coming out of both the hoppers this one is going to reset the thing once there's an item, once there's an item back in this hopper do this you want torch redstone then you want a pulse shortener and that's quite simple to do so you want that block and that goes into a 4 tick repeater and it's going to look something like that you want the redstone torch here and then redstone like so you also want a block here redstone and then a torch and this will reset this RS null latch once the 32 items have been used up. So now we want to do right. You want I believe this is right. You want from this comparator you want a block, and then this goes into a block here. From this block will change the output of this torch, sorry I'm getting distracted um, and then go up here and basically you want, it con you want it to connect to this over here and then that should be working hopefully yep that's correct so yeah so I'll just copy that, just giving you a better view 
what that is like. So next we want the uh, the opening of the pack a punch, and this is what it's going to look like when it's open. From when you buy it, it's going to be a hole here. And to achieve this, you want uh, a piston, which is going to be on the same height as this slab facing down. And you want the block here, and that's it. So you want uh, that's right. So you want a block next to the piston then two blocks like so, you want one of them to be a repeater and the other to be redstone you want so from this repeater, uh, oh god I keep calling it repeaters from this torch you want it to go into this block to unpower this torch so it's another inverter and then you want redstone like so and this is closed at the moment, which is good, this is what you want it to be. So from here, this is when it will be open, and the villager will be inside here. You want it to have a decent area, so like that, and just cover the holes. And now just. Okay. Right. So that's from uh, Dan there from Squad Hub. So now you want a dispenser. Yep. So the dispenser is just going to hold some lava. I did that after the uh, MC edit. Sorry about that. Um, then next, I think that's it for that part over here. So over here, you'll want coming out of here. You want a repeater going to a block. You want the redstone torch there. Redstone like so. And then we'll do two pole shorteners, and this acts as it will like create a pulse uh, every time this arsenal match is switched for the uh, dis dispensers which hold the lava. So repeaters and four tick delay. Uh, block on top. And redstone like so. And then torches like that. And then just connect them up like that. So quite easy. So next you just want to connect this wire to this dispenser. And finally, you want medicine going to this dispenser over here. And then just build a casing around that dispenser for when the lava is going to be there. And finally, before we go back into energy edit, you want to break this block quickly and put a chest down. And this is where your different pack punch items come in. So, what you want to do in the first two columns is what you put into the pack punch, and the bottom line is what you get. So, for instance, I put a red st redstone in the pack punch and I get a sticky piston. Or if I have a bucket and a redstone torch I put in, I get a sign. And just put some more in. Obviously, in your thing, you probably put like a bow in um, or something like that. Um, so, in like the diarized version, there'll be like a stone sword and then there'll be like a arc red stone sword there. But uh, you can obviously put whatever you want in. And now go over to MC Edit. Just uh, fix that. Actually, no. Leave that block open so it's easy in MC Edit. So now I'll we'll jump over into MC Edit. Right, now in MC Edit, you want to uh, get some filters. Um, I'll show you the filters in MC Edit while I'm doing the tutorial. And the filters will be in the description uh, as well for you to download. They're made by Seth Bling. You've probably heard of him already. His channel link will also be in the description for you. Um, he's got, I'd say, a decent amount of subscribers, over 600,000, so you probably most would have heard of him. Uh, so, you want to do is select this chest in MC Edit. You want to run a filter made by him called Create Shops. Choose a profession, whatever you want. I just don't really care, I just use Villager Green, although sometimes I might change. You want to tick Unlimited Trade, and that's it. Filter. Snail, so it's an entity which is in red. And it's uh, difficult to highlight entities in MC Edit. You need to select a bigger area. So just uh, make everything bigger by one, so you can select the entity better, which is the red square. You then run the filter, uh, change more properties, double-click on name, 
and then rename this to pack punch show name select to yes and that's it press filter so you want to run another filter now which is create spawners you want to include the position data and press filter this is now going to create a spawner so I need to highlight the spawner now and move it somewhere else so here's the spawner I've selected it press cut and then you want to move it into this hole which I made of the dispenser and import so before you do anything you want to do another filter to the uh, spawner and that is change spawner properties and just copy the exact um, thing that I use. So you're going to put 5 in here, 5 in here, 5 in here, spawn count 1, entity cap 1, detection range 50, spawn radius 4, filter. Next, you want to do another filter. Uh, sorry for the bad mic quality. Uh, spawn is into my carts, and this will make it into another entity. So you want to select a big area to select the entity, then filter. Uh, create spawners, include the position data again and there you go so one last filter well this is now a uh, minecart spawner spawner <laughs> quite complicated, so this spawner spawns a minecart and that minecart spawns a villager and uh, yeah so one last filter is uh, for this spawner and that's change spawner properties and then change this to one change that to one and change that to one and that's it everything all the first five are one and that's fifteen that's four press filter and there you go so you want to save it and then go back into minecraft right so now i'm back in minecraft and the villages are there so what you want to do is add just get some lava buckets so you want to put a lava bucket in this dispenser and a lava bucket in this dispenser and then you just want to place a resin torch and then remove it and this will basically just make sure lava is in here this destroys the spawner and this spawner this spawner here spawns a spawner here every one tick but it gets instantly destroyed and the reason I set that to five this minecart spawner to five ticks is so it doesn't have enough time to spawn when there's lava acting on it so now there's no villagers in here so you replace this block which you destroyed earlier and uh, everything should be good to go so I should buy it minus is 20, 50 points even and here comes all the villagers for some reason um, I'm not sure why so here you go you can see that oh dear well for some reason uh, there seems to be loads of villagers spawning even though it's on the entity cap to um, one, I, it's some kind of bug. I mean, when I did it beforehand, loads of times, it always seemed to work. But for some reason, like there's plenty of villagers spawning now. It's kind of getting annoying. But I've tried this tutorial twice to see if if it was just me messing up MC Edit, but it's not. It just uh, for some reason it happens. So I'm gonna do now. So hopefully, it should come up with I need more points. Just give me some more points. And uh, there you go, here's a villager. And you can see here's my trades I had before. And his name is Pack Punch. And you can see if I've got a bucket and some torch, get a sign. And um, I forgot one more thing. You see they all die now. Before I mention that. Uh, so they all die. This is to prevent the zombies from just staying here. The in the like my second version of the of the pack punch, sorry. The zombies will just crowd around the pack punch when there's a villager inside and they'll just stay there, wouldn't attack you. But this one makes sure that they all die. So they once the villager dies the zombies will just walk away and try to attack you. And um the final thing you have to add, which is very important, this just stops another bug which causes some command block to run we should just add a repeater here on 4 ticks delay and that is all so you can see it's pack a punch uh, this thing appears I can get 24 pistons if I wanted to um, put some torches in oh dear oh 
and uh, they'll die. So that's it. The uh, commands will be in the description, download link, uh, filters link, everything you want. And I uh, hope this helped. If you want other, any other tutorials, you can request them in the comments. I know I've had tutorials on the uh, the scoreboard, like how that works, and the random box. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do a tutorial on the random box anytime soon. I've put a uh, download link for you for that. That should help hopefully. The scoreboard is pretty simple. I don't see why there should be a tutorial, but great. Uh, but yeah, some people are struggling. If they continue to ask. I will do so for them, as are you're my subscribers, and it's what you want. So that's all for now. If you uh, stayed until the end of this video, thank you very much, and uh, see you all next time.